What up, it's me, Fuzzle43, and today I am going to be talking about November the 5th. November the 5th. You know, Guy Fox Day, or whatever you call it. Guy, the guy who tried to blow up Parliament, basically. I don't, I don't know why we even celebrate that day. Makes no sense. Oh, someone almost tried to kill the government, but we caught them. You know, that shouldn't be a... Like a big deal. Like no one should really get a prize for stopping people killing the gov government. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really make sense. It sort of glorifies him being a criminal. You know? Ooh, I got a got a day named after me because I tried to kill someone. You know? That sort of thing, which isn't ideal. I mean, I only remember Guy Fawkes out of the story situation. I don't remember any of the Parliament, any of the. Who, anyone else that was involved just you know just the bad guy so that's kind of kind of takes away from the whole yeah we won you know scenario but whatever what I actually wanted to talk about was a funny story that happened to me on the way home from work while I was you know walking home on November the 5th of why it's known in you know I don't know whether it's known anywhere else as a bonfire night but that's what we call it where basically you build you know big domes of wood and you just set them on fire for no reason and you feel really good about yourself and um yeah basically and then you throw like a doll that looks sort of like Guy Fawkes and you you laugh and you go haha we you know we got you we got you but no what <laughs> it's sort of that I don't really get that but one thing that we used to like to do in our family was keep the Christmas tree 11 months and then put the Christmas tree on top of the bonfire and then when it finally set on fire it just let off this like just unholy smell because it had just been rotten and rotten for like 11 months which <laughs> which isn't uh, isn't very kind to the neighborhood thinking about it but you know who gives a C I certainly don't you certainly shouldn't and um, basically I was walking home you know, trying to avoid any any contact from you know ruffians holding fireworks or or just fire in general, or just trying to mug me. You know, trying to steal my iPod. That's that's one thing that you know I'm always scared of. But I've got my music to protect me. So, but without my iPod, I wouldn't. So, kind of a double-edged sword there. If I get it stolen, I'm sort of fucked. Um, <laughs> I'm, only, oh, I'm such a dick. Anyway, I was walking and, you know, I'd saved up a fart for quite a while. <laughs> I love the idea of saving up farts for later. But anyway, I'll talk about it in a different commentary. I probably won't. But I actually walked past this old man and I farted so loud that he thought I'd set off a firework next to him and he literally jumped out his skin, turned round, looked at me. And I sort of like, you know, did like a, a sort of grin at him. And he was like, oh my god. And like, proper ran away. <laughs> Good times. 